Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And we are here to announce that if you want to find out who we are going to endorse, subscribe, like, share, and tell us in the comments who you think we are going to endorse because we are going to announce it tomorrow on November 1st. We have had people say, oh, you guys are Kamala biased. And we've had other people say, oh, you guys are a bunch of Trump ass lickers. We've had both people on both sides several times, at least 20 or 30 times in some of our older videos, claim that we are for one side or the other based on the outcome, which is not our opinion. It's obviously real clear polling on whatever websites we use on any given day. But the fact that people don't know who we're endorsing and who we support means we are doing our non-biased job better than ABC and NBC <laughs> and CNN. Um, so we have in the national poll, Trump versus Harris. Trump is ahead, 0.4, 48.4% to Kamala Harris's 48.0, which is actually just 48% to those of you that don't know. So Donald Trump is leading in the national polls by a tiny bit. Let us go and fill in that election map according to RealClearPolling.com. We have the blue states for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, which are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, parts of Nebraska, Illinois, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of D.C., as well as Virginia and Parts of Maine and Maine at large are blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, the very top one, M-E-A-L-2, and Nebraska A-L-2 is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Then the reds, obviously, are for Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, hillbilly eulogy. You've got um, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, parts of other Nebraska, uh, the first district, I believe, Nebraska at large is also red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and parts of Maine. Particularly, the second district of Maine is red for Donald J. Trump. That has Kamala Harris at 226 to Donald J. Trump's 219. The last remaining states are the most crucial. They are the battlegrounds or the swing states. They determine the election. Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia will decide the 2024 USA presidential election. We are going to start with Nevada. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.5 lead over Kamala in Nevada, making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, with its 11 electoral votes, according to Real Clear Polling. Trump has a 2.5% lead in Arizona, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. That gives Donald J. Trump a lead over Kamala now because she was originally in the lead. He is at 236. She's at 226. There's a 10-vote gap right now. Let's fill in the rest of the states. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous right now. Wisconsin with its 10 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com, Kamala Harris has taken back Wisconsin from the chains with a 0.2 lead over Donald J. Trump, making Wisconsin and its 10 electoral votes blue for Kamala Harris. This puts them both at a tie of Kamala Harris' 236 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 236 electoral votes. Next up is Michigan, where Donald J. Trump is still claiming he's leading in all the battleground states as of yesterday's rally with the garbage truck. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty funny. If you haven't watched Kamala Harris's rally that she did yesterday, she did an amazing job yesterday as well. But it was funny because she took back 
Wisconsin and Michigan when he's still claiming as of yesterday that he has all seven battleground states in his hand, which he does not. We brought, we told his lie yesterday. We said he's not. We called out his lie yesterday. We said he's not. He's not in the lead in those seven states. Um, he's in the lead of five out of the seven. It looks like. Um, but yeah, so do not believe it when he says he's ahead in all seven states. No, he is not, according to multiple polls. Um, Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to RealClearPolling.com, Harris has a 0.5 lead in Michigan, making Michigan blue for Kamala Harris, and she takes the lead back from Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance's hillbilly eulogy. We are going up next to Georgia. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 2.4 lead in Georgia, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. Now he's ahead by one. Kamala Harris, 251. Donald J. Trump, 252. They are neck in neck. North Carolina, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a one-point lead in North Carolina, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump. 268 to 251. It is so close right now. It all comes down to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.8 lead. It has jumped up from yesterday's 0.5 slash 0.6, depending on what website you are reading from, making Pennsylvania red for Donald J. Trump and nabbing him the election in a subtle landslide. 287 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 251 electoral votes. This News may upset some people. This news may make some people extremely happy. How do you feel right now based on RealClearPolling.com? Yes, we are putting up states that have a less than 1% chance of uh, victory or margin of error for the candidate that's currently in charge. For example, if it's 0.7 and it's got Trump ahead, yes, we are giving that state to Trump. If it's 0.9, and, and Harris is ahead. Yes, we are giving the state to Harris. This is just a kind of fill in the map video. It's not a, this is how it's going to be. It gives all of us the idea on election day, when we go behind that curtain, if some places even still use curtains, because I've been to places that don't use curtains, oddly enough, a fire department, and you pull that lever or you put, you put it on the machine, you type in your can, you type click, 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 and then you hit that vote button that prints it out and you take it home with you and you're proud as hell and then you give them the one that they need. How does this make you feel? It should invigorate you. If you hate Donald Trump, it should make you want to rally the, your friends. If you, if you hate Kamala Harris, it should make you want to rally your friends to vote for the other candidate in these states, in these battleground states, if you are in any of them. It should invigorate you and infuriate you. If you don't like Donald Trump, it should make you proud and happy and tailgate and bust out the beers and the cigarettes. If you love Donald J. Trump, how does this make you feel? And also, Pennsylvania, go ahead and, and, and move that mouse on it, but don't click anything. On Pennsylvania, PA, we do have verified reports of voter fraud in Pennsylvania, out of like 2,600 or 2,800 different news stations said things differently. They got different numbers. Uh, there was election fraud. Oh, my God, YouTube. Oh, oh, election fraud. Yeah, you can't say that. There was election fraud found in three counties in Pennsylvania. So anyone, and, and, and 1,600 of them were verified as being fraudulent or written by the same three hands. The same addresses, the same three hands, just different names put in. At, the, at similar three or four or five addresses. So anyone that tells you, including our beautiful website, YouTube, which we love so much because it has everything on it that we could ever want. If anyone tells you that voter fraud is not real, you can look it up right now. Voter fraud is real. It happens. It is significant. It can turn an entire state. You can turn a state with even 11 votes, a small state with a small population. You can flip an election just by having 11 votes, will that flip Pennsylvania? Probably not. I'd probably need at least, you know, 500, which they found 1,600. So we're just letting you, you people know, uh, our beautiful fans and our newcomers, that that the media that says, and even YouTube, our beautiful YouTube, that says election fraud is not real. Yes, it is. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are Ow. election frauded.